Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 20 career mode here today on the channel. We're back on our Inter Milan Ultimate Difficulty Fiverr's Realism Modded Career Series. This is Season 1, Episode 4. In today's episode, we have won the Scudetto. We have won the title of Syria. We've made it all the way to the UEFA Champions League final against Pep Guardiola's Manchester City. While unfortunately we got knocked out of the domestic cup, however we managed to win the title by a point. Juventus in second, Roma in third. And we've secured the title, of course. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo managed to win the Golden Boot. Manchester United and Arsenal battle it out in the Europa League as well. Ronaldo wins the Golden Boot. So, guys, this is the last episode of the series. Depending on if we win, we'll if we lose, it guarantees a second season. <laughs> <laughs> because the main objective is to win the treble. However, if this series does end, let me know in the comments other teams you would like me to let's play. There are still a, a lot more top European sides that I haven't let's played on FIFA 20 career mode, like uh, Rosenborg Leipzig, Wolfsburg, Schalke. Uh, we've also got Atletico Madrid. And we're maybe doing another Serie A series. Lazio, AC Milan. Or maybe we can go to the Premier League and play as an English club. Potentially Sheffield United, Newcastle, uh, Norwich. Let me know in the comment section down below. Alrighty. Let's get stuck into Manchester City here today. Most of my team is fighting fit and ready to go. Let's get stuck into Manchester City here today. Let's have a look at their squad. If there has been any sort of major changes to the starting eleven. If there was one team in FIFA I'd fear facing, it's probably Manchester City, they've got a phenomenal squad. However, they haven't restructured the back line, which is a really good indication uh, of the potential results. So, incredibly strong. Sterling, Aguero, De Bruyne, Edison, but they haven't got an incredibly strong back line playing Fernandinho there. No Otamendi. Which is interesting. Manchester City on the first attack. Bernardo Silva. Sterling. Silva. Getting it into the box. Alexis Sanchez, the former Red Devil, manages to win it out. Icardi and Inter Milan trying to create a counter-attack. It's Romelu Lukaku, the former Red Devil. He just needs to beat Fernandinho. He cuts back. It's Lukaku. He's going all the way. And the shot's been blocked. If he was just a little bit quicker, he might have capitalized on that. Perisic comes in with a tackle, but it wasn't to be. Raheem Sterling now on the counter-attack, looking for the incisive pass in Manchester City's final third. Aguero comes up for it. De Bruyne goes for goal, and Stefan de Frey manages to win the tackle. And Inter Milan have to create a rapid and quick counter-attack. Akadi over the top to Christian Eriksen. Can he get past one jump? <laughs> Jal Cancelo, he can't unfortunately, but it was a really good attempt there by Inter. Stefan de Frey comes out, they can't go aerially Manchester City, they have one of the smaller squads in the league, while we have the height in uh, the Champions League. Lukaku holds up the ball well, Lukaku goes for goal, and Edison saves. Inter Milan have had their fair share of the early opportunities. Eriksen, the ball comes in. It's a scrappy at the back post. Stefan de Frey with the follow-up. Golden goes for goal. And nearly curled it around like a striker. The former Atletico Madrid Uruguayan defender. Ivan Perisic now. His attempt, and he scored. It's Ivan Perisic, the Croat international, to make it 1-0 just before half-time. It was an unlikely goal scorer from the right-hand side there. Ivan Perisic, back from his loan, has earned his place back at Inter and has scored his first goal in the Champions League. What a goal for him to remember. 
1-0 up. Manchester City trying to push forward before the half. But it's been fizzled out for them. Still, a lot to play for in this match. Icardi, a nice one to pass with Romelu. Eriksen uh, goes straight into traffic there. Aguero trying to break away. Aguero puts it on a plate for De Bruyne. He's got to finish there. Surely, Handanovic with a top-notch save. The corner kick now from Silva. Bernardo finds David. David finds De Bruyne. It's Mendy at the back post and couldn't curl it. Pep Guardiola furious on the touchline. You could arguably say Man City should be one goal up, maybe even drawing. Nangalan trying to create a counter-attack. Good little flick on there. And Manchester City are heavily exposed at the back. Akadi looking for the through ball. It's Eriksen who goes for goal. We were contested in the back line there. But it's Christian Eriksen, the great Dane, the Viking, the descendant of Ragnar Luthbrook to make it 2-1 just before the 66. It's Christian Eriksen. The dude scored like 15 plus goals in Serie A this season. And he scored four in the Champions League. He's absolutely on fire. He's been creative attacking and a goal scoring machine from attacking midfield. And uh, he's exhausted because of it. It's trying to bring on Sabitza, the former Rasenball Leipzig captain. And Politano, the former Napoli uh, Loney. We've got a couple of options here. And I've gone to go with Moses, who played well in the last match. De Bruyne out looking for the ball in now. Oh, they signed Oyazabal, the Spanish swinger. That's a good signing. Kind of realistic. Ivan Perisic with a really good flick on. Lukaku gets it on the chest. Lukaku right into the traffic of Fernandinho. Aguero, Stefan de Frey, Moses, Nangalan. Politano to Lukaku. Romelu Lukaku. Guess the shot blocked. Brozovic to whip it into the box. Edison with the big save. A lot of body blocks there by Juan Jancelo and um, David Silva. Saved it when er uh, Edison hit the deck. Gabriel Jesus fresh off the bench. Oh, has a ball back to Mendy. Air really comes in for De Bruyne. Should have gone along the deck. What are with these aerial balls from Man City? Kind of unrealistic, them doing that. Politano now with acres of space on the left. And we're surging forward with the three at the back formation. Lukaku has to finish this and puts it wide of the post. Woeful. Perisic. Sabitza. Politano. Sabitza goes straight into the path of Fernandinho. 2 0 is the scoreline. Bernardo. Bernardo Silva pushing forward. Manchester City trying to get some sort of dignity back in this batch. But Sabitza, the Austrian international, intercepts. It's Boladano to make it 3 0. In the 90th minute here, to put it without a shadow of a doubt, that Inter Milan will be winning the UEFA Champions League this season. Sabitza with an amazing interception, and then Politano with a sensational strike. 3-0, Manchester City have capitulated in the UEFA Champions League final, and Inter Milan are victorious. The die is cast, and we've gone and won the double. Thank you very much for watching the Inter Milan series, guys. I really can't pl recommend playing with Inter Milan enough. They are a really fun career mode squad. So just looking at the overall team, the 3-4-1-2, up top, you've got an option of Akadi and Lukaku, which I played all season. Akadi was phenomenal. Romelu Lukaku, look, he's a controversial player on FIFA. Doesn't have the best weak foot, can sometimes have a lapse passing. Arguably, we probably could have played Martinez instead and have had more better results, as FIFA 20 does rely heavily and on career mode with that rapid pace. But... The triple threat substitution of Politano and Martinez. Obviously, Politano has uh, rocked up 
in the way for the Champions League final there. But a lot this season, both of them have. Uh, attacking midfield-wise, Ericsson, dude, Ericsson is basically like a, a little bit cheaper De Bruyne on FIFA. He's such a good player in the cam. So you do need a backup um, because he does get burnt out and exhausted quite quickly. I went with Sabitza. You probably could have gone for someone a bit sweatier, like a Kai Havertz or like a... Maybe an, even an Isco, if you could somehow do a player plus cash deal. But I went with Sabitza because I wanted to test him out. A lot of Austrians have played for Inter Milan, of course. And he's the captain of Rosenball Leipzig. He has a lot of leadership qualities, and I thought I'd mix things up. Sanchez and Ivan Perisic. Uh, they're very good like overall players, but quick, rapid wingers, not so much. If you can bear without that... I do recommend keeping them because they've got some really good incisive passes. My midfield of Brozovic, just a sensational career mode player. He's really good. Nangalan, an absolute bruiser, a battler, very similar to the likes of Vidal and like an Adrissi Garner Gay, a solid career mode midfielder. Back three. Can't complain. I recommend putting Skriniar right at the top as Stefan de Frey does have some weaknesses and Godin is getting a little bit older. Handanovic as well, an amazing goalkeeper. He is so much better than Navas in my last career series. So I would recommend heavily, heavily bringing back low knees in an Inter Milan career mode and probably signing an attacking midfielder. If you don't want to recall players and you think it's unrealistic you're doing yourself a massive disservice and you're gonna to have to go and buy a lot of budget quick rapid youngsters <laughs> if you want to try and win the double on ultimate difficulty like i've done here today but thank you very much for watching guys hope you've enjoyed this inter milan career mode i've had an absolute blast hopefully we have given antonio conte's legacy a uh, one to remember hopefully we've lived up to it but uh, yeah, stay tuned for more career mode content coming soon on the channel. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're not enjoying the series, feel free to leave a dislike. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box these days to get all the notifications for the channel. You have to click subscribe, of course, and the bell to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. If you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games maybe some psn and xbox codes to buy packs for ultimate team or maybe just some games i really do recommend checking out my affiliation link g2a there's some really good prices so even just going looking around to be honest anyway uh the patreon stinger there as well come and join the community on steam my name has been cmc stay tuned for more videos on the channel make sure to take care of yourselves have a fantastic rest of your day my name has been cmc good bye mares Whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce.